So she threw an egg at one of the security dudes and then another dude who looked like he was only alive because of a meth high. He comes running over. And then you have this other chick who is in a sleeveless, she's in a tank top. And I just got to tell you, first off, dress for your body type, number one. Especially for you progressive ladies. Number two, if you're wearing a shirt, if you're wearing a sleeveless shirt, nobody, ain't nobody want to see your bra straps. Like that is not a thing, right? Hide it. Like pin it together get a, or get a bra that's made for wearing that kind of top. I cannot stand seeing somebody's nasty bra straps hanging outside of their that's one of my That is my pet peeve with clothing. I cannot stand it. And usually people who do that, they don't, I don't think that they clean their bras enough and they're dirty and I can't stand it. It's might as well just have dirty feet on top of it. Everything's gross. The world should just, that's, where's the asteroid? Anyway, what gets me is that nobody's talking about this. Now, do you remember, let's flash back to where you had some kids that were on a field trip in Washington, D.C. And I'm from Southern Missouri and some, some of us say Washington, so stop. Washington, does that sound better? It sounds so pretentious. Remember those kids, the Covington kids? And they were, they were on a field trip. And this is how it always works. Whenever you got classrooms that go on field trips, where do they always get picked up and dropped off? Right there, usually by the Lincoln Memorial. And the reason it's by the Lincoln Memorial is because there's a roundabout. There's like a couple roundabouts there. And they, it's, they're wide enough to where you can have a bus pull over without obstructing traffic. And they can drop off tourists, pick up tourists. I mean, it's designed to accommodate this. So that's why all the pick up and drop offs usually happen there. That's why it's always crowded and crazy. And so there were kids who had been going through D.C. with their, with their school And they, you guys remember the story, they were standing there waiting for the bus to arrive. They had adult chaperones who were with the school. And then you had an adult provocateur who wanted to hide behind the fact that he was an indigenous American as an excuse for his weird and predatory behavior towards children. And he decided to walk up and get into these kids' faces. And this is after other far left activists were already calling these kids like like gay slurs. And so the kids actually, I thought, you know, there was nothing to get in trouble for. The kid, they, they had the one who was standing there uh, who was very, he just smiled. That's all he could do. He didn't want to, and they, and the media went after this. He was a, a, technically a child. He's underage. They went after him and tried to ruin his life. Nick Sandman, they tried to ruin his life. Now, where is that media interest when you have some white chick on a bike with a gorilla mask screaming at Larry Elder, who is black and is a conservative in California. Where's the media attention with that? I was told that these things were very important. Hell, CNN sent a sat truck, a satellite truck, to do a news story outside of an elderly woman's home in Florida because she was an administrator on a pro-Trump Facebook group page. Remember that? And they they inadvertently or on purposely, uh, on purpose, broadcast her address everywhere. No interest in this chick who is screaming invectives and slurs and everything else while wearing a gorilla mask, screaming all kinds of stuff, throwing stuff, because you can't be black and conservative. you. You can't be black and be a Republican. And then you, you had these other two little skinny white Marxists come around there and they're like, fat me, fat me. And I'm like, I literally, I can see that you've literally never fought. Stop. You're going to get hurt. But where's the interest in this chick? I mean, where's the, why doesn't, why does the media only consider one of those, one of those things a crime? She threw an egg at him. Like that, that's assault. I would imagine battery. Uh, she threw an egg at him. Why does the media only consider one of these things a, a criminal act worth reporting? Well, she punched the security guy. Right oh, in yeah, the she face. did. Assa- yeah, she assaulted the security guy. Why? Where's the I thought that this stuff, where's the media concern about this? I thought it was a crime worth reporting, right? Apparently, no. This is amazing to me. And that's not I mean, there's so many instances of this. It's I mean, there's there's tons of instances of this. So, no, 
Nothing on. Hmm? Unbelievable. No, it was like he straight up walked into deliverance too. I'm just shocked that that's how in the world is that? Well, if you remember, CNN and WAPO both had to settle with Sandman because they knew they were losing their case. So the media is complicit in this. They are, they are definitely biased to one remember, side of the political. Remember, you had line. a grown man who was like like sixty something years old get into this like seventeen year old's face, and the seventeen year old's all on camera. He's just standing there. He's like, I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to not be provocative. And he never said anything. The video, there's so many videos. He never did anything, and everyone's like, that child smiled at that man, but he was to get a pass because he's an indigenous American. No, you don't. That doesn't mean you can be any less of a predator or a creep. I didn't think it's lame that you tried to, that in, that he tried to hide behind identity politics and progressives allowed it. That's disgusting. Y'all a bunch of child predators. That's gross. And then this situation. And they're not interested. You know why? Because Larry Elder isn't the right type of black man for the left. Just say it. He's not the right type of black man for the left. You are not authentically black. You're not authentically a female. You're not authentically gay. You're not authentically Hispanic or, or Latino or anything else unless you are a Democrat. I have for 10 years have talked about how the left has tried to patent ethnic, um, re even religious, sexual identity. And this is part of the problem why people see issues instead of people. 